Hello, Allison here, and in today's FileMaker tutorial, we are going to learn how to send a personalized email from FileMaker. So let's get started. So we are looking at a contact detail uh, layout, and we have some basic information, first and last name, title, company, uh, email address, and uh, this field here, which uh, is an interest field. It expresses what uh, particular product or service uh, they're interested in, and we would like to automatically be able to generate a personalized email to the contact, uh, you know, specific to the uh, product or service that they requested. So I set this up, and I wanted to kind of break it down for you. So uh, I will first uh, show you what the end result looks like. So when you click on this button, it creates an email. I just went off screen here. I'll bring it up. And so uh, it automatically addresses it. Uh, it says the subject is information you requested on, and this is the interest, you have all the package. Uh, and then dear, the first name, uh, thank you for your interest in the uh, Univall package. There we go, the very personalized. The information you can, uh, requested can be found at, kind regards, etc. So let's figure out how we did this and go behind the scenes. So I will close this. And then if we uh, go into the layout and uh, double click on the button uh, so that we can see what's going on here, uh, you see that it is a single step. So we did this uh, without any scripting, which is awesome. And uh, when we specified a calculation, um, I'm going to break this calculation down for you. So I'm going to go uh, here. And let's just kind of zoom zoom in on this and break it down. So we're sending it via uh, an email client. So um, looking from top to bottom, we see uh, create. So one email using the data from the current record, which is exactly what we uh, want in this particular case. We do not want to email um, to multiple people at the same time. But you have the option to um, create multiple emails, one for each record in the found set. Uh, and then uh, you can choose the two. If you have a found set, um, you can choose uh, collect addresses across found set, and uh, that will not be one for each record. That will put all of the email addresses in the same uh, two. So this might be handy for um, staff, you know, uh, colleague emails uh, that are in the found set that it's perfectly appropriate to uh, put multiple email addresses in the two, but you certainly wouldn't want to uh, email contacts, uh, excuse me, clients or customers uh, in that way. Uh, then you have CC, BCC, uh, and uh, before I leave the two, um, I chose specify field name so that it would uh, automatically fill in with the email address. And so that's how that uh, first part works. And popping down to the subject, um, I also used a specify uh, calculation option because I wanted to include some text. So I used the uh, text function uh, in the calculation to quote information you requested on they on the, and I made sure there was that space there, uh, and then use the ampersand sign, which is the symbol for um, concatenating or stringing uh, pieces of information together. And so the next thing I chose was the field interest from over here on the list of fields in the contact info table. Uh, so the end result of this calculation will be this piece of text and whatever data or information is in the interest field. So that will be my subject. And then in creating the message, I wanted to personalize the message, so I also chose specify calculation. And in constructing the message, um, I chose that same piece of text, right, dear with a space after it, the ampersand to string the next piece of uh, information, which is the first name. I selected that from the first name uh, field over here, uh, and then I uh, chose the ampersand to say, okay, we're going to start adding some more uh, text here, and then I chose the quote, 
And then I um, added a comma because we want the comma to appear after the first name and the paragraph symbol, which you can find over here um, in the operator symbols. And then you don't technically have to do this. Um, I put a carriage return, right? And then added the other um, paragraph symbol so that I could keep track of um, the spacing. Uh, it's kind of looking old school, like, uh, um, you know, if you look at the symbols in a Microsoft Word document, uh, but it helps keep track of uh, when you have line breaks. So you need a, you know, a line break here or a paragraph return, and then you need another one here. So you actually need two, one after the sentence and then uh, one for that blank line. So that's how I continued to format uh, this. And so then... I've got this text, thank you for your interest in, all the way up to this quote right here. And then I want to insert what they're interested in. So thank you for your interest in the, and here we go, we have the ampersand sign again, so that we can um, drop in the interest that was typed into the interest field. Uh, and then we uh, put another ampersand sign and a quote to indicate that we're starting uh, another string of text. And we put a period after that sentence and our paragraph symbol and another paragraph symbol and uh, the next uh, paragraph line, which is the information you requested, can be found at. And I just um, typed this, but based on the same principle, if you had another field that was the um, product URL, for example, you could use the same uh, method or technique to drop in the um, specific uh, URL. Then, uh, you know, some another return, kind regards, another return, Anna, uh, and the signature, and then my ending um, quote to say that I'm all done uh, with that piece of uh, string of text. And so that's how I constructed the body of a personalized email uh, for this contact based on their interest. So we will say OK, and OK, and OK and exit layout and once more when we hit send uh, interest email and I will bring that email over for you uh, it says dear Melissa thank you for your interest in the Univell package the information you requested can be found at kind regards etc and so uh, I will save that and you can see that the information was pulling from the interest and from the first name field so that it flowed into the um, subject and the body of the email. So that is our tutorial for today. I hope you found it useful. If you did, if you would give it a thumbs up, and if you would like to see more videos like this, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.